Right. Kane, I'm going to have the uh, filet mignon. I <laughs> got <laughs> <laughs> uh, triple tequila and right. ginger okay. ale. <laughs> All right, um, man, you guys must answer a lot of Freddie and Jason questions. I just had a few I want to get off my chest. Um, Robert, um, you can I get your thoughts and opinions on the character of Jason Voorhees? Maybe not just the actor, but just the concept of Jason Voorhees. Well, you know, what I've always liked about Jason to me, Jason is a pure killing machine. He's like a shark, you know? He just never stops swimming. And I love that. And, and, and you know that deep down inside him is this kernel of revenge, you know? But I still like the, the nihilism. He's just a killing machine. That's a, there's a certain kind of punk rock attitude in that, you know, in, in, in tearing down society. And I think that the Friday the 13th films kind of embody that. Kane, can I get your thoughts and opinions on the character of Freddy Krueger? Well, I've been a horror fan my whole life, starting, as people have heard, with a movie called The Birds back in uh, when I was young. But what I loved about the Freddy character, what, first of all, the, the storyline was interesting, something that had never been explored, really. But... What I loved about the character was that at times you were actually laughing in a way to some of the things that Robert did and then in the next moment you're fucking terrified. So that was something that really hadn't, hadn't happened and that's what shows the brilliance of Robert's performance where you can be engaging and, and, and almost, almost laughing and then terrified the next moment. That's what I loved about it. Oh man, the concept of Freddy versus Jason, we'll just forget about the film. The concept of Freddy versus Jason, I love it. Um, but for me, I just thought it was hands down, it was Freddy, Freddy wins. Cause Freddy, you know, as long as you get afraid of him, he comes back. Um, but I love the conversation. Amongst you guys, to both of you guys, I want to speak, I'll get you guys to discuss about it. Um, what do you guys love about the theory of uh, Freddy versus Jason? Well, all I, all I can tell you is that it was a fan-motivated concept. Uh, as early as 84, I saw guys with full body tattoos of Freddie and Jason fighting. People want to say that New Line Cinema and Paramount, everybody, that we exploit the fans, you know, with sequels, and we exploit the fans with these mashups. Uh, I prefer to see it as a graphic novel that was long, long, long time coming. Because I've been asked the question from day one, what would happen if you met up with Jason? You know, what would happen if you went head to head with Jason? So it was a fan generated concept. You know, that's about that. I think that's the way to look at it. And, and I think the fans, you know, it came to fruition. And, and, and during the run of each franchise, there were fans that loved both of them, there was fans that were more partial to Jason, more fans that were more partial to Freddy, so it was almost, you know, inevitable that the two would meet, like Robert saying, for the fans, because everybody wanted to see that happen. I mean, I've had Jason fans, you know, tell me I'm a wimp since 1984. <laughs> or, and you just come up to me in the street and go, yeah, Jason's going to kick your ass. And there was nobody. There was no script. There was no idea. It's just a thing they do. And what you have to do is you have to go back in time. Put yourself in a time machine. Go back to a New York stoop, a porch in front of a brownstone in 19, late 1930s and imagine uh, boys that look like they're from, uh, you know, the, 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 the East Side kid gang, right? The East Side kids sitting around with a cigarette and they're arguing at the age of 14, who would win, Frankenstein or the Wolfman? Hey, what do you think's gonna, could Frankenstein take the Wolfman? I, and what did they do, what did Hollywood do? They made a movie of it. They made Batman, they wrote n graphic novels and comic books about Batman and Superman. They made movies, you know, with, with, with the Wolfman and, and Frankenstein meeting. This is a fan generated fantasy. It's a thing that fans do naturally and organically. I just pray to God 
They don't ask Cain or me to fight that little Chucky son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I want to settle this right now. Can I get you guys to, to duke it out in a game of tic-tac-toe? Oh, oh wow. Here you go. Oh, he gets to go first. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't even remember where you're supposed to start. Okay. Yeah, I think it's here. Oh, no, it's no, not. It's not. <laughs> I see what I've done. I see what I've done. It's gonna end in a draw. Oh, I see what I've done. Or is it? Yeah. yeah. It's a draw. It's a draw. Well, oh, that's it. it. Yeah, see? It. It's a tie! <laughs> oh, thank you guys. We live to fight another day. <laughs> All right. Thank All you. Right.